I know I've been MIA for a while, and it's time to explain. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. For those of you that are regular viewers of my channel, about a month ago, I said that I wouldn't be making any videos for at least a week because I was going to stay with a very sick friend who needed my help. That part was true. She was my friend and she was my neighbor. What I didn't tell you, and I couldn't because it was not my business to tell, is that it was my sister. My sister Kathy. They moved here about four years ago, her and her husband Ken, and they were kind of part-timers. They lived here from November to the beginning of May, and then they would go back to Pennsylvania until the following November. And little by little, they were bringing their stuff down to live here permanently. Unfortunately, my sister got sick a couple years ago, I think three years ago. And she received a lot of treatments. She did the chemotherapy for, I don't know, close to two years. She had several surgeries, things like that. And she just didn't respond to the treatments. Things really went downhill the first of the year. She had lost a drastic amount of weight and things just weren't looking real good. Now, if you recall, my ma died January the 14th of this year, 2023. That's the same time my sister's health really started declining. She was a very private person and didn't want anyone to know, no one. She did not tell her closest friends that she's been friends with since high school. She didn't tell anyone. The only reason I knew was because she was down here where I am. And I took her to the doctor one time, and that's where she was diagnosed. My sister turned 75 on June the 9th, so she's three years older than me. And she died on July 13th, just recently. So I lost my ma and my sister, both within, well, one day shy of six months. I feel quite numb having these two deaths of my family members so close together and watching what she went through, how she struggled, how hard she fought to beat this was really, really difficult. I don't want to go into too many details in this video because I'm just not ready. It's been so devastating on her husband, Ken, and the rest of the family. She did die at home. She was on hospice. And that's why I went to stay with her. When I said I was moving up to a friend's house to stay for a week, it was with her. And I just continued to stay there until she passed away. I feel honored and privileged to have been able 
to be there for her in this last month of her life. To be by her side, to be with her, to care for her, to administer her morphine, whatever she needed. Like I said, she was a private person and she was one tough cookie. She didn't share a whole lot. She never said she was in pain. She kept most things to herself, which I respected. But to be able to be there with her was truly a blessing to me. And she wanted me there. She wanted me to stay with her. Just sitting here and talking about it, it doesn't even sound real. I can't believe, you know, my sister is gone. I just, it's just so hard to wrap your brain around to watch somebody wither away right in front of your eyes. Day and night, 24-7. She was such a strong person. Very strong. Never showed any emotions. Didn't share much. But I knew. I knew because I know her. We weren't close growing up. And I think I mentioned this in a video probably a long time ago. That, you know, she was popular. She was a normal kid and a normal teenager. She loved to have fun and she would sneak out. You know, climb out the window and sneak out to be with her friends. Or skip school to lay out in the sun and... Just all the things I guess most teenagers did. But I was that weird kid. You know, I didn't do any of those things. So we had nothing in common and just weren't close. But having this opportunity to be with her every day, day and night, sleeping in the same room with her for the last month, I've never felt closer to anyone in my life. She gave me a gift by allowing me to be with her, to care for her, to meet her needs, to help her get through this. And I am so grateful. So I just wanted to let you all know where I've been why I was gone for, I think it was a month, and tell you the full truth that she was my neighbor. She lived a half a mile away. She was my friend, but she was also my sister. And that's the part I couldn't share. So I hope you understand I hope you can respect the fact that she didn't want anyone to know and that it was not my place to share her business. I'm going to continue making videos. I may talk about this some more as I heal a little bit or the numbness goes away and I can better gather my thoughts. But I, I knew that you all had a right to know where I've been and why I haven't been on here. And I thank you all so much for supporting me. I never really had the time to grieve the loss of my ma because that was January the 14th and my sister was already getting pretty sick by then. So I just couldn't do it. You know, I had to be there and be strong for my sister. And she didn't want no tears. She didn't want no sad faces. She was very strict and specific on what she expected. 
and I honored her wishes. With her being my older sister, three years older than me, she was always the boss, always. And we listened. Whatever she said goes. She did things her way, kind of just like my ma. Her and my ma were very much alike. And my sister called all the shots. And we just did exactly what she said and what she wanted. So I'll be back. I'll get back to my regular videos, which are Tuesday, Fridays, and Sunday. I just wanted to touch base with you all and let you know what was going on. I thank you so much for listening and for understanding. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 14. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. I know that my sister Kathy is now with my Ma and my dad, and I know without a shadow of doubt that we will meet again, that I will see her. She'll be waiting for me, and I know that with all of my heart. My heart is empty right now because she's gone but I know we'll be together again. I'll tell you what, this was very, very difficult to watch someone you love, to watch your own sister slip away day by day. It was difficult. However, when I was weak, he was strong. I don't know how I could have gotten through this. But God carried me all the way. And I was able to be there for her in every way she needed me. And I am so grateful for that. All I can say is, for anyone who doesn't have faith, then they have no hope. But for those of us with faith, we have eternity. We know we will see our loved ones again. And we know they live on forever and ever in heaven. And I can't imagine anyone not having that hope, not having that knowledge, and not having that faith. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.